This presentation will provide some introductory thoughts on the work of artists from the Middle East, North Africa, and South Asia that address the enduring presence of the past. History is not something that is simply from long ago, safely tucked away like a box of old things in a storage room. It does not remain hidden until we decide to look through those objects and pictures containing so many memories. Instead, it is all around us, cluttering our daily existence. In formerly colonized or occupied areas of the world, the previous rulers continued to impact life there, albeit in a transformed way. They carry on like ghosts in the machine. Oftentimes they are given more significance than the current residents. By acknowledging the past, artists offer new images of a bygone era in order to shed light on contemporary times. Conflicts between the previous colonizers and colonized continue to shape global interactions. In one work, artist Visham Sayed arranges dainty objects associated with a Victorian sitting room that symbolizes the British Empire in its heyday. Next to this arrangement is a painting that shows a scene that is found frequently in the Daily News, smoke rising in a metropolis from an apparent bombing. In placing the historical objects and a much more recent picture side by side, the artist suggests the relationship between the colonial past and contemporary strife. Colonialism has a deep-seated impact on the world today. Sachin Bondi creates installations that remind viewers of this continuity. Like Syed, he juxtaposes images and objects. In one image, he transforms a colonial photograph to speak about more recent global politics. It includes a a historical panorama with a, with a cart that has a large oil can upon it, symbolizing contemporary battles over the precious resource. In the rear, a colonial scene ensues at the railroad, a sign of imposed progress from the colonizer. One of the eventual results of colonialism has been that the art and jewels, among other cultural artifacts from the empire, have been transplanted planted to museums in the United States and Europe. Paintings that were part of illuminated manuscripts made in Islamic and Hindu kingdoms that ruled South Asia in the past are now part of the collections and institutions like the Victoria and Albert Museum. Hasnath Mehmood has copied some of these artworks to draw attention to this phenomenon. Ali Sherry and Lamia Jorige also examine museums and their collections. Their aims are to highlight the significance given to the past instead of the present. In The Digger, Sherry documents the life of a Pakistani caretaker in the desert of Sharjah. Sultan Zaid Khan guards a Neolithic necropolis from which fragments are rescued to be displayed at a museum. The expansive loneliness of his life is contrasted with the scenes of bones being organized for display. Meanwhile, Jarige considers the institution of the Mataf, or a museum in Arabic. In Lebanon, this term refers to the National Museum in Beirut. Underwriting Beirut Mataf is a contemporary document archive on the organization and its collection in tandem with the history of Lebanese wars. Alongside the museum, the archive has provided numerous artists with a fertile source for exploring contemporary society by looking into the past. Janan al Ami utilizes the Smithsonian Archive of Wartime Photography, in particular aerial images. The viewpoint from above does not allow one to see the details, and in Al Ami's videos that utilize these photographs, viewers are never allowed to gain a familiarity with the site she shows. Referencing recent warfare in the Middle East, her contemporary treatment parallels the Orientalist images of desert landscapes popular in the 19th century that maintain an exotic distance from the subject. For Maliki Nayini, Samira Alekhanzade, and Susan Hefuna, the past and the present coexist on a socio political level in their artworks. Nanini utilizes old advertisements to offer a new look at history. Juxtaposing recent designs with images from another era, Nanini creates visually enticing pictures. 
Channeling earlier times is at the heart of Alakhan Zadeh's practice. She looks at Iran's socio-political environment from the first half of the 20th century in photographs of women whose eyes are covered with mirrors. Contemporary viewers can see themselves in the images, literally. Susan Hakuna also considers the social significance of vision in photographs that incorporate the architectural element of the Mashabiya. Found in historical homes in Cairo where Hakuna was raised, it is a feature that allows women to see without being seen. In the works discussed above, history serves as an insight into contemporary circumstances. These artists provide new ways to look at both the past and the present. Thank you.